Hey, what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB check it out today I'm getting ready to show you guys if you haven't already made one of these before just how easy it is to make a sausage biscuit and gravy You know casserole super easy not a whole lot of ingredients, but listen, you know what it's springtime You know it's getting ready to uh, matter of fact is it springtime? I think it is you know what I mean? So listen on the weekends We like to all sit down with our family this right here is a conversation piece and you know just like a, a family favorite So with that being said, let's go over these ingredients now, I'm gonna start off by just showing, uh, we start right here. Look, this right here, you can either use half and half, whole milk, or heavy cream. Doesn't make a difference. You know, uh, it's up to you. Look, cause we are gonna use this to get our gravy going. Gotta have some flour. Of course, we gotta have some of that cheddar cheese, right? Then we gonna cheat a little bit. I got it. Every, we don't always have the time to like make our homemade biscuits, right? So we are gonna go ahead and get our biscuits. You know what, this is just super easy and it tastes good. I can hear y'all now saying, ah, I like to do homemade. Try it like this first, you'll just see how fast it is and how good it is. All right, and then right here, we got some regular, just regular whole milk, right? I'm gonna take this milk, mix it with the eggs, we're gonna make that fluffy. Now, since I said eggs, there you go. There we go, we got six large eggs. I'm gonna start here in the back. We got that thick cut, look, that's that maple bacon by Farmer John's. Gotta have some sausage, right? Now look, these are like the links. What I'm gonna do is just break them, cut them open at the end, and you know, squeeze out all of the, you know, the actual sausage into the pan as we brown that. Now, we wanted to have a little bit of a bite to it, right? So then we got a little bit of this red pepper flakes. And then you know when I use seasoning, come on y'all, you know I got that uh, butter garlic, or you can use Creole kick. And if you guys don't have that, you know what you can use? You can use like any season all that you have. And then last but not least, this is why I like these products, because they low on sodium. So I wake it up with just a pinch of this salt right here. And right here, you can see, you guys have been following me for a minute, you know I like that kosher salt. And boom, that fresh black pepper. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all, it's a casserole, right? So I'm gonna put it in my 13 by nine. You know, this is my 13 by nine dish. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and spray this. You can use, you can use butter, you know, just to go ahead and grease it. And we wanna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. You know the greasing part right so i'm gonna go ahead take this now again you guys can take a stick of butter move this around like that but for me i like to use this pan right here and it's that butter flavor let's just get this going and that's enough right there okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our we're gonna go ahead and get this uh bacon together right so i'm using my petty knife let's just go ahead and get this cut open and i'm gonna start off like i said with the bacon right we're gonna go ahead and get this halfway going and after that then we're gonna go ahead and go with the i guess we'll go with the uh with the sausage but super easy now because i like mine everything that i do I, i'm more on a, of a a meaty side cat you know what i mean uh this is why we doing this but if you wasn't doing this i'll be starting right now for most of you guys you just want to do sausage or if you just want to do bacon it cut your time in half now if i was on the stove i can have two things going but right now we're gonna do it like this then we're gonna get this together and then we're gonna start next with our uh, with our sausage. Okay, look, so the bacon is done, right? Now I wanna show you this. Look right here in this pot. You see this right here? Look, this is that good bacon fat. Now I know everybody don't do, you know, say the bacon fat. A lot of people don't eat pork, but for those of you guys that do, take a look at this right here. Look, I got a jar here. This is where I keep up with my bacon fat, right? You can see it's pretty full. What I do is I just put this over the top. I take this. I pour it, I let it get all, it strains all the impurities and we go from there. Now, this is what I do if you wanna go ahead and have some like, if you wanna level up like your veggies, you know what I mean? Uh, you wanna make some a cold roux and anything like that, that's it right there. And when I say cold, I don't mean literally like freezing. I mean, you know, that's like, that, that's that, uh, that slang. Now, you see my jar is full. I just wanted to get, give you guys, you know, like the option to like start saving it. I cook a lot with it, you know what I mean? Uh, but enough of that. Now we finna drain, you know, I'm gonna get rid of some of this oil and then we getting ready to just go ahead and work on this uh, sausage. Okay, so you just saw the bacon is done. We talked about saving the, uh, the bacon fat. 
Now let's talk about this. Listen, I'm launching my ebook, right? You guys can see it, it's right here. Now when you see that right there, look, you guys can take a look at that. That's my third ebook. It's all about that breakfast and brunch, right? With the springtime coming, everybody's sitting around, you know, when the weekends come around, you're sitting around with your family and stuff like that. You wanna level up your game, super easy recipes. But listen, enough of that. I'll pin all of that down in the number one comment and put it in the description box. But right now, let's get this, uh, this Italian sausage going. Now, take this. I don't have to, I was gonna use my knife to cut it, but if you guys using the sausage like this, it's already gonna come out of the, look, it comes out of the casing just fine. So all you gotta do is squeeze it. It comes out of both sides. I'm raising my temp up, you know what I mean, to a medium high heat. It doesn't take long. We just don't wanna have any pink. Cause remember, we are gonna put this in the oven. Now by now, you guys should already have that, your oven up to temp, 350 degrees. Okay, so remember, you've been following me. You know, I talk about having the right utensils, right? I got this non-stick induction pan right here. I'm using a wooden spoon so that I don't scrape and tear up none of the, the coating on here. And a square edge, right? Makes it perfect for this right now. And I've had some of my subscribers tell me like, hey, you know what? I use a potato masher. Hey, that's, that right there is brilliant. If I can get one that's coated or something like that, you know, so that I don't tear this up, but I will definitely use that idea when I do my cast, you know, when I'm using cast iron. Okay, so this is what we want. We just want to make sure that like when we break them in half like this, and as we look at them, we don't want to see any pink. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. Not just reduce, take it, you know, turn it off. We don't want to overcook it. This right here, this is right. Now, I'm going to let this do its thing right here. We don't have any more pink. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so I got me another paper plate, you know what I mean, lined with... I got it lined with, you know, a paper towel, and I'm just setting this right here so it can drain any grease or any unwanted grease that it has rendered also. We're just gonna lead this off to the side, and then we're gonna work on that gravy, get them eggs together, open these biscuits, and make some magic. Okay, so now for the fun part. Hey, you know what? Now that I'm saying this, this is like a great activity for you to do with your loved ones, you know what I mean? You got some company over, you got your family, you know, you can get everybody involved. Everybody can get involved with making something, you know what I mean, you know, in the kitchen. Introduction to uh, cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this like this. And then I'm gonna cut that like that. So each one of these makes a different piece, right? So we just cut it into quarters. Get your grease 13 by nine. And then when you got them, we just start adding these like this. Now you see how I'm just putting these in here? No particular order, nothing like that. We just put them in. So now we're gonna go to our sausage. We're just gonna sprinkle this over here, just like you see. You remember that bacon? Now, it depends on how you made that bacon. You know what I mean? Does it crumble for you like this? I mean, listen, this right here is right. I don't even need my knife, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Take this, bring this here. Now, we'll just take this. Let's move this over just a little bit more and we'll just add this. You guys can crumble it if it's crunchy enough. For me, I like in between crunchy and a little bit on the soft side, right? Okay, now, bacon, sausage is in. You know, we got the, the, uh, the biscuits on the bottom. Now, let's go with that cheese. You know what, we're just gonna sprinkle a little cheese over here like this. Now, here's where you guys can add as much of this as you would like, you know? Okay, now we're gonna go with the eggs. Now, go ahead, crack your eggs, get yourself a bowl. Eggs in, now we add our milk. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little salt. We're gonna add a little black pepper. Grab our whisk, and now we whisk. Okay, got this mixed up. Now, what you wanna do is just pour it over there, you know, right over the cheese. I kinda like just spread it around, around you know, on my own, not just pour it in one spot. I just wanna make sure all of it gets a little bit of that, you know, that egg mixture, right? Now, I'ma say this. Last but not least, this is what it looks like. Now we wanna go ahead and get that gravy together and we gonna pour that on the top. We gonna put this in the oven and then we finna get down, folks. Okay, so I didn't show this in the very beginning because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I decided to go the route. You wanna get yourself two tablespoons of butter. You know what I mean, we wanna melt this. Okay, you got my butter, it's melted, right? So we are gonna do it like this. You know, when we making any type of roux, right? Anything with flour, we just start adding a little bit. Remember, it's all in the wrist, y'all. Don't be nervous. Look, this is the perfect thing for you guys to learn on right now. You know what I mean? We just do it just like you see here. Now, we just wanna cook some of this raw flour taste out, right? Which doesn't take long. Now I'm gonna go ahead 
and grab my half and half. Look, heavy whipping cream. And if you guys are using whole milk, it's gonna take a little bit more. So we'll just start adding a little bit here, just like you see, just a little bit, a little bit at a time. We move it around, super easy, you guys. You've been following me for a minute, we know how to make this right by now. You know what I mean? This, hey, you can never get too much practice. You know what, we just wanna keep moving it around. And for those of you guys that don't know, you can look at the color right now and you can see, yes sir, this is gonna be one of them white gravies. You know what I mean? It's like, just like super delicious. We're gonna add the seasoning to it in just a minute. And as you move it around and it gets hot and starts to cook, it thickens up, right? We just keep going like this. And eventually when we got all of our liquid inside, you know, it starts to become smooth. Now, I'm gonna start adding some of my butter garlic to it. I'm gonna go with my flakes now. All right, so you see this right here? This is what I'm loving. I like this consistency right here. I just tasted it, it's to my liking. I love it. Remember, this is where you wanna taste it and make sure it tastes good to you. So that way, you, when you add it to it, it'll be just right. You can cut these, put them right on a plate. You won't have any issues with none of the people to eat it. They won't be adding nothing to it. Now, you wanna take it, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour it on top. You know what I mean? There you go. No particular way, just pour it. Now, we're getting ready to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So let's get it. All right, here we go. I told you 30 to 35 minutes, but that's what it looks like after 30 minutes. Tell me what you guys think. Now listen, I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. I'm gonna get my plate, and then we finna cut right into this. Okay, now look, if you guys wanna sprinkle some garnish over the top of that, you can do that too. You know that will make it pop. But for me, I got people right here waiting. I'm not even gonna let it cool all the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my spatula. You know what I mean? Try to cut this all the way down. Let's double check. Now we're just gonna take it, pull it up like that. Take a look at that right there. Ah, yeah. Let me go ahead and bring this plate a little closer. Bring this in just like that. So you guys can see it. Look at that right there. That right there is fire, folks. Hey, I can't wait. My mouth is watering me deep, you know, just talking about it. So, let me go ahead. Let me get this going. Oh, yeah. Simple breakfast, you guys. You see that right there? Hey, everything made, super easy to make. Very, very uh, family friendly, friendly. You know what I mean? But enough talking. Let me blow it. Now that there is fire. Hey, you guys gotta make this. If you if you already made something like this before, let me know. But this right here, hey, super simple. Again, it's family friendly. You know, especially you get your family involved. You guys come in the kitchen and make it. Now, don't forget, look, I just published my third ebook, right? I'll put the recipes, let you guys know what it is down in the number one comment. And I'm gonna put that in the description box also. Hey, and you know what the most important part about it is and where you get your value, it's only $5, you guys. And I'll put the link to the other two that I have. So I only got a total of three. And a hardback is uh, a hardback cookbook is coming, you know, this fall. But right now, hey, listen, get this, you know, do this with your family. You're talking about bringing everybody a little bit closer and you can make this and be proud of it with just regular store-bought, you know, uh, items. Now. With that being said, and I don't want to over talk it, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, and hit that bell, right? So you can be notified anytime I drop any one of these fire recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.